Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is The Yoga Mat, and I want to give a special welcome to all of our members at theyogamat.com and to those that are watching here on the YouTube channel. Today we've got another Hatha Yoga class, and we're going to work a little bit more on some hip openers today. So go ahead and head over to your mat, and we'll get started. So welcome back to your practice. Uh, we're going to get started with just a little bit of a warm up here. So if you come into a tabletop onto your hands and knees, I'm going to start in uh, cat and cow. So let's go ahead and take a breath in, look up. And as you exhale, round over, try to arch your back. And again, inhale, look up. And exhale, arch the back. Again, inhale. Belly relaxes here. Exhale, rounding over, navel drawing in. And take just a few more of these. Now I'll take one more full round. And so once you finish that, we'll come back to neutral. And then we're going to take child's pose. So we'll separate the knees, uh, maybe about to the edges of the mat. Walking the arms out, relax the head. And if this is too far to come down, you can step on your forearms. And let's try to work on that deep breathing. As you work on that breath, breathing in and out the nose, we'll start to walk the arms a little bit further out toward the top of the mat. And the further you take your arms away from you, see if you get that stretch there in the side body. And we'll come back up into a tabletop. And then stepping the right foot between the hands. And then you can step your left foot forward. Let's relax here in ragdoll. And we got the feet about the hip width. You can bend one knee, bend the other. Just kind of swaying side to side, maybe shaking the head yes, shake it no a few times. And then take your time, keep those knees bent, and then slowly start to roll all the way up to standing. And let's bring your big toes together, heels out to the side just a little bit there. And your hands to your heart. And again, we're going to go through just a few sun salutations here at the beginning. Just a little bit of a flow here to warm up. And inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale to plank. And so when you get into plank, you can decide if you want to do the modified version, which is the knees dropping to the mat, or if you want to stay here with this full push-up position. Again, navel drawing in. Let's take a breath in. And then as you exhale, lower down. Again, hover if you can, or you can go all the way to your mat. And then we'll come into our first back bend here, upward dog. Try to roll the shoulders back and see if you can get your thighs and your knees lifting up off the floor. And then from there, take it back over the toes, downward dog again. And so feet hip width, once you get here, hands shoulder width. And we'll bend the left knee, press the right heel down toward the floor. And we'll just get a little Stretch there to the calves, get them woke up a little bit more, change to the other side. And switch again, sending that right heel closer down towards your mat. And then the right knee, send the left heel closer down. And 
And both heels reaching down. Bend the knees, look forward. Step the feet up between the hands. Take a breath in, look up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, back to center. We'll do just a few more of those. Inhale, reach the arms. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, plank. And again, knees can drop to the floor if you need to. Lower down. Upward facing, inhale. Downward dog, exhale. And so and hands about shoulder width. I'm going to try to spread the fingers wide and then press your palms down into your mat. And from there, just relax the head. Look right back between the feet. And bend the knees, look forward, step the feet up. Inhale, look up. Exhale, fold it forward. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, back to center. And take this last round on your own. And whenever you're finished, we'll stay here at the top of the mat. A couple rounds of breath. And then grab your block. Uh, we're going to go through a couple of standing poses that you may want to use it uh, for. So we'll take that, place it there on the right side of the mat. And then you can take a big step out with your feet. So going about one leg's distance apart, open the arms. Uh, and then we'll work with the right leg first. So right foot turning weight, left toes. They're going to go in about 15 degrees or so. And look to that right hand, breath in. Exhale, triangle. So we'll reach forward. You can let it drop to your shin. Or since we got that block, if you want to use it, and try to get the palm flat against it. And then you can start to press through that hand, reaching the left arm up and then pulling it back just a bit. If it doesn't bother your neck, you're trying to lift your gaze up toward your left thumb. And then we'll bring a small bend into that right knee, grab hold of the block for using it, and then inhale, come back up, and I'll set up here for the other side. So we'll take that uh, left foot to turn away, the block in pinky side of that left leg, opening the arms again. Uh, let's take one breath in here. And as you exhale, reach with that left arm. And so again, just because you use a block on one side doesn't mean you have to use it on the other. You don't have to use it at all if you don't want to. And see which uh, setup of the pose is gonna work a little bit best for you. Then again, doesn't have to look just like mine does. And so we'll try to lean the back, the chest away from the legs. Trying to find the balance even in that left foot. So from the front to the back and then side to side. And as you exhale, a little bit in that left knee, grab the block. Inhale, come back up. You're going to parallel your feet, and then we're going to set this block up for a revolved triangle. So we'll square the hips off 
toward that right leg. So right foot's gonna turn away, we'll take the block to the big toe side of the foot to get started with. Bring your hands to your hips, and then you wanna tilt the tailbone down toward the floor. Should get a stretch right away there in that hip flexor. And then small bend in your right knee. Inhale the left arm up, exhale, reach it forward, and again, we'll let that hand find the block if it's within reach. Start to roll the right side of the hip back. Bring the right shoulder open. And then if you have your balance, you can lift that right arm up. Uh, so this pose, you, you can want to try to get that stretch in that outer right hip, maybe getting into the glute, the side of the leg a little bit there as well. Uh, but the more that you square the hips off, bring that left side forward, and then that should allow you to get into that spot. Now with your next exhale, look down, release your hands. And we're going to grab hold of the block, inhale back up to center. We're going to set up here for the other side. So again, facing the front of your mat, the block close to the foot, hands to the hips. And same little adjustments there with the pelvis. Just that little tilt. Bend the left knee. Inhale, right arm. And then exhale, send it forward. And you can go pinky side of the foot if you want. You just got to see what that feels like. If the message balance too much, you can always readjust to the inside. And the left arm up whenever you're ready. Yeah, make sure the left quad stays flexed. And you want to try to keep that right heel, the outer edge of that back foot, pressing firmly down into your mat to help keep your balance. And exhale, look down, release the hands. Inhale, come back up to center. So we probably shortened our distance there a little bit for the twist. We're going to take the legs out wider. And then the block is going to go to the right side of the mat again. So we'll work through half moon. Uh, you can even go to the wall uh, for half moon if you want. So if you're going to go to the wall for your half moon, you can come off your mat if you need to. Your block's going to go fairly close to the wall. And we're going to have the pinky side of the right foot close to it. And then we're just going to take the right hand to the block, the left hand to the hip, and then try to lift that left leg up. And so again, if you're close enough to the wall, then you can bring your right hip to the wall first. And then as you start to roll that shoulder open, try to get the left arm to touch it. Again, you can really lean your back against the wall here to help a whole lot with the balance. Then just flex your toes. There are that left foot. Keep lifting the leg up. You know, we'll take just a couple more rounds of breath here. Even if you're not close enough to a wall, you don't have to use it. Just got to work a little bit more there on your balance. And let's release. As you exhale, take the left foot to the floor. And inhale, come back up. And let's go ahead and set up here for the other side. And so the block pretty close to the wall. And your hips have to be fairly close to it as well. And go ahead and take that left hand to the block. Find your balance there on the left leg. And again, work on rolling that right shoulder to touch the wall. And, and then, so this left block, again, you're at an angle with that left foot from the pinky side. And keep pressing down through that left hand, lift the right leg. And we'll take just a few rounds of breath here. Take one more breath in, try to lift that leg up a little higher if you can get it. 
And then on the exhale, release that right foot to the floor. Grab your block, inhale, come back up. So revolve triangle, you can do it at the wall. It's just a little bit trickier. I'm gonna show it away from the wall. Uh, so we got the block to the right side of the mat. And then just go ahead and take your hands to your hips. You can be a, about to the middle of your mat. We're gonna uh, get into it from warrior C. So we'll step the right foot forward. It's like we're gonna be balancing on. And then take both hands down to your mat. Good. So this is really a prep pose for warrior C instead of the actual pose, but that's, that's what we'll do to get into it. We'll take the left hand to the block, big toe side of the foot. We'll bring your right hand to your hip. Good. And then from here, flex your left toes down toward the floor and then rotate your toes to face that right leg. Roll the right shoulder open and lift the right arm up, coming into revolved half moon. And again, if you don't need the block, you don't have to use it. You can just take your fingertips there to the floor. If you were balancing here at the wall, again, that right hip is going to be touching it. The right arm reaching up. Again, it's just a little more awkward uh, to get into than uh, regular half moon. But you can, you can certainly use the wall if you want. Your next exhale, look down, release the hands to the floor. And then inhale, come back up. Let's go ahead and set up here for the other side, setting that block back toward the front of the mat. And we'll step back a little bit. Step your left foot forward. Release the hands to the floor. As you do that, we'll lift the back leg up. So right hand's going to find the block. And again, roughly the block is underneath the shoulder. And go ahead and do that same adjustment there. Heel to the right, toes toward the midline. Left arm eventually ending up in the air. So the leg that's lifted, see if you can keep it straight. Even work on squeezing the thighs toward one another. And then keep coming into that twist. Come into a revolved half moon here, lift the left arm up, bring the shoulder away from the chin. And again, just a couple more rounds of breath. With your next breath in, see if you can lift the back heel and on the exhale, release, take the hands to the floor. And inhale, come back up. And step the feet together, hands to center. And then we're going to go into a, a squat. So you can have a block, two blocks, three blocks, whatever it takes. We're going to set up for this in stages here. So we'll drop down, just drop down to your um, knees here. You're going to take your block toward the back of your mat. Again, you can work with any height you need. And then come into a tabletop. When you set up for table on this one, your feet will be on either side of the block, your toes curling under, and your feet about to the edges of the mat. A little wider is easier for the heels to drop. And then from here, just slowly start to walk your hands back, eventually working your way into that squat. So again, use a block if you want. You don't have to use it. Uh, if your knees are a little bit more sensitive in this position, block can make this one uh, something that's more accessible to you. Okay. Again, wider feet makes it easier for the heels to drop to the floor, so you can adjust from there if you want. If you can get your arms to the inside of your legs, then just gently start to press knees apart, bringing the hands closer to center. And gaze is going to go straight ahead. And again, if at any point this bothers the knees, if you feel any stress in them, uh, come back out of it, come back into that tabletop pose.
If you're still okay, we're going to stay here a little bit longer. Again, you can come out if you need to. You can pause the video and then, then uh, regroup coming back into it. Uh, we're going to add a little twist here. So we'll try to work this left arm a little bit further down. Reach the right arm up. And again, this can be more of a gentle version of the twist, just keeping this left arm lifted. If you want, you can take that left hand to the floor in front of the left foot, and then you can start to, again, press that left knee a little bit further away, just using that arm to come into the twist a little bit more. To release, we'll come back to center and press the knees apart. And come out of it, take a break if you need. And let's try to go ahead and move to the other side. We'll work this right arm down a little bit further. You can keep the arm bent. Reach the left arm up. Or take that right hand down towards your mat in front of your right foot. We'll release that, come back to center, bringing your hands to your heart. And then to come out of this, again, we'll take the hands to the floor first, drop one knee at a time back down to the floor, get the block out of the way. And then just come into a child's pose where the knees are closer to being hip width. So we're no longer trying to get the stretch to the inner thighs like we were in Malasana, back in that yoga squat. And we'll go ahead and come all the way up into seated. Good. And again, this is a hip focus class. We're going to go through an a alternative version of pigeon. So in yin, we would call this collapsed swan. So with your legs out straight, you're going to lean over to the right. And you want to bring roughly two 90 degree bends in your legs. So. It doesn't have to be exactly that. It can, uh, this left knee can be up a little bit, a little bit more. Or again, if you can, you're going to work it back. And you want to lean as far over into your right side as it takes for that knee to drop down to the floor. That should make it more accessible. If half pigeon usually bothers the knee, if you lean to the right with the legs bent, it's generally a little bit easier uh, to tolerate. And then from here, you can start to walk your hands forward. And you might make a couple fists. You can relax your head on. And again, we're targeting that outer right hip and get into the glute a little bit here as well. And you can stay folding right over this thigh the whole time. If this really isn't enough of a stretch for you, maybe your hips a little bit more open then uh, keep your legs in the same position. Just start to work your nose closer down toward that ankle. So don't have to go that far. Maybe it's going just a little bit uh, past the knee. Maybe you're going down on part of the shin. And just a little bit of movement there can change that stretch. Um, we'll go ahead and start to come back up. You, you want to lean all the way over into that right side, and then we can swing that left leg back around, straighten the legs out. Or do the same thing on the other side. So you want to lean to the left, and we'll bring the legs bent over to the right side. And again, this is fine. Even bringing this foot in a little bit closer, this is okay as well. So there's always more ways uh, to adjust if you need. Again, lean as far to the left as it takes. You want to get that knee all the way down into your mat. And then whenever you're ready, you can start to take that forward fold. 
Yeah. And then on your own, fold closer toward this ankle if you need to deepen it. Uh, let's start to come back up and we'll bring this right leg around. And we'll take the legs out in front of you, but keep a little bit of a bend in your knees. And then let's fold forward. We'll grab the arms underneath the legs, relax the head. And just a few rounds of breath here, and then we'll start to make our way towards Shavasana. and start to come back up and then lie down on your back got relaxation here for just these last few minutes Take your time, go ahead and start to make your way back up to seated. Bring your hands to your heart, close your eyes. Thanks for practicing, grace today, namaste. Mary, if you wanna practice with me in person, uh, head to theyogamad.com or just check out that QR code at the end of the video. See you next time. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that class. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to get a new short form class every week. And if you like what you see and you wanna support me, Go become a member at theyogamat.com. You'll get unlimited live virtual classes every week and access to our on-demand library with over 500 classes in it.
Have a great day. Namaste.